Welcome or welcome back to Cooking with Frenchie. I hope you had a great week and you are ready for a new episode of one of my recipes. So I hope you like it because it's a recipe that's very special to my heart. I bring a lot of memories been as a kid. This recipe this week is about the beef bourguignon or burgundy red wine beef stew. Other people will call it a red wine or stew or casserole up to you. Uh, my grandma used to do it, my mom used to do it, my dad even used to do it and cook uh, this dish every winter or on cold night. The beauty about this dish is you can prepare in advance. It's actually better reheated. So you can prepare a day in advance, up to four days in advance for it. You can freeze it, keep it in the fridge or freezer and also use it as a meal prep if you like to. I generally serve my beef bourguignon with either Paris mashed potato and a bit of greens or totally on the other spectrum, some fresh pasta. So I hope you enjoy my recipe and you have a good week. You love it, you share it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any question, put it in the comments under this video and you will also find there the full link with a full list of ingredients and a step-by-step -step approach. So I hope you enjoy and see you next time. Bye. Here we are ready for my beef casserole of beef and red wine stew or beef bourguignon. Here I have a beautiful piece of rump. You could also use chuck for it and it's a recipe you can adapt with any kind of red meat beef you want to use that's quite cheap and you want to cook for a long time to tenderize that's what the stew is made for so i'm cutting a piece of meat about four or five centimeter uh, cubes i remove most of the fat from the meat i just leave some little piece with it just to enrich my dish in the fry pan i use a little bit of olive oil and i don't overload the pan and i'm going to sear those piece of meat just to make sure that we caramelize them, we brown them to keep the juice inside the meat. So I'll do that both sides about two minutes and not fully cooked, just a little bit to keep that little crusty brown. I'm adding my flour that's called in French Saint-Gé. It uh, will be our base of a sauce. Uh, so plain flour, a little bit of a mix. I'm going to put a little bit of brandy there in this one just for flavor. I use Beaujolais because that's all I could find. You can find, a, if you want a beef bourguignon or traditional one, a nice burgundy, Pinot Noir uh, would be very nice to go with it. But again, quality wine is great, but I prefer to drink it than cooking with it. A little bit of tomato paste and real stock. Chop your onions, slice, chop, same with the shallots. I'm using exactly the same fry pan and if your oil is not too burned, you can cook the onions and the shallots in the same pan. And I'm going to throw that into the casserole dish. Shallots as well. I will just give them a nice little brown color. Put that in the dish. Then I can add, uh, or I can cut meanwhile it's getting to temperature. Uh, so I'm going to bring the casserole to simmer. I can dice a little bit of a pancetta, smoked ham, quickly fried it up on the uh, in the pan for a minute or two, not much. Uh, we just want to render the fat a little bit. And let's go straight into the casserole dish as well. For this recipe, there is a big controversy with my mates between bourguignon and a la bourguignon. So in that dish, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, mushroom and also carrots. I'll prepare bouquet garni, a bundle of aromat. I'll show you that in my previous video. So I did for stocks, stews and soups. 
but that should do it and I simmer everything for three to four hours 30 minutes prior serving I'm adding some carrots and little pickled onions and here we are luscious tender melting meat with beautiful Paris mashed potatoes and broccolini leftover norories just put them in the container and keep them up to three months in the freezer meal prep is done i hope you enjoyed this recipe and see you next time for another episode of cooking with Frenchie.